Welcome back. This is the Jackson Neal Music Podcast here on Saturday, June 23rd, 2018. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Remember, you can listen on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, or YouTube. If this video is longer than 10 minutes on YouTube, check right down in the description for a link to listen to the rest of the episode on SoundCloud. And with that, let's jump right into it, where I want to talk a little bit about hip-hop today. Because I was looking on XXL's YouTube, and I realized that I'd missed the first couple of videos of the 2018 freshman uh, freestyles and profile interviews. So I started to catch up on those and, and watch the several that have already been published, waiting for the new ones to come out. But it brought to my attention what, uh, you know, about this list and exactly how important is the XXL freshman list. We saw two years ago in 2016 that Cypher and that whole list they had, Denzel Curry, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert, 21 Savage, Kodak Black. There were some big names in that. That one Cypher, you know, pretty much went super, so viral on the internet. Um, it, it's now in dozens of millions of views. I think it's closing in on 100 million views or something like that. It's a really iconic Cypher and just iconic moment, I guess, in hip-hop history where you saw this SoundCloud generation of rappers really take over. Um, in 2016, and it was the kind of the first generation with stars like Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert, people like that who really define what SoundCloud rap is now. They really, you know, turned that was their time, and they they're now, I guess, the superstars of hip hop. And then last year was another. It seemed like another really big moment in the list. P- people like XXX Tentacion, rest in peace. Um, Playboy Cardi, Ugly God, Made in Tokyo, some other big names who have all have kind of gotten big. On, this, on the SoundCloud platform, but we're among a little bit different of an era. Even though it was a year apart, it seemed like two worlds apart in, in that sense. It, they weren't really as close as a lot of people, you know, as it, as it was before. And that brings us now to this year's list, 2018. With people like Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, Wi-Fi's Funeral, Trippy Red, Ski Master Slump God, uh, the Slump God, Black Boy JB, Stefflon Don, YBN Namir, and JID. And when you look at this list, it's it's one where it's only nine people. Lil Skies was the winner of the tenth spot, but he did not he declined to show up to the photo shoot. And you take a look at that. Also take a look at someone like Nav, a person who has been signed up with the weekend's XO label, who I thought definitely would be on the list, but really, you know, did not uh kind of eliminated himself from contention when he released the song Freshman List, basically saying he doesn't need to be on there. And it brings up the question. How important is this list in 2018? Because in my perspective, it seems like this list is is pretty important. But especially for this year, it feels like last year's leftovers. Whereas last year there was all these people that, you know, we wanted to get on the list, but I thought they messed up on a couple spots. People like Cap G wasn't really all that sure about. But uh, someone like Ski Master Slump God should have been on there last year. Low Pump, could make the argument last year. Smoke Per, argument for last year. Wi-Fi's Funeral. Definitely, trip, even Trippy Red. These are some people who, even at this time last year, you could have said they deserve to be on the freshman list. J.I.D.'s album came out a while ago. And you start to wonder, really, how important is this list? If a person like such as Lil Skies is declining, even when he gets a, a you know, word of the spot on there, declining to visit... How important are we really getting? Someone like Nav. You know, he's signing the week he's signing the weekend's XO label. He's touring internationally as you know kind of as an opener for the weekend, and then now he's going on his own tour nationally. And yet he declined to even show up on this. He even made a song basically dissing it. And where I think in 2016 it was a real measure of that class. And I think in 2017 it was too. It feels like this year's this year's list just isn't as important. Yeah, there's some people that are making some noise, but are these really the best we could offer? Because I think Lil Sky should be on there. I think Nav should be on there. And those are two guys who would be prime examples to be on this list. Both declined to even show up. And the cool thing about 2018 is I think South Florida really got its due. Where last year they just put X on there, but it was really this, you know, the 2016 it was Kodak Black, 2017 it was XXX Tentacion, and they they had these 
but in really 2017 is when the whole of South Florida blew up, and they finally got it right this year, putting Lil Pump, putting Smoke Perk, putting Wi-Fi's Funeral, and, and Ski Master Slump God. On, those were all guys who via, honestly should had a shot to be on there last year, but you can't have half the list be from one section of the country. I understand that concept, but it seems like they're just really making up for it now with with guys who I've kind of passed on their moment in the in the real spotlight. Where it's kind of you know, Lil Pump. We've been talking about him for like I guess now maybe a year and a half, so it feels a little late, especially because he already really blew up Maine. You know, you think of the freshman list as this list of people who. Watch out for them. They're gonna blow. And it feels like Lil Pump's already reached his heights. Not saying he can't accomplish that again, but you know he already had some of the top songs in the country, in the world. So, everyone already knows about him. Ski Master Slump God, you know, he, he feels a little bit more up and coming. Same with Wi-Fi's Funeral or Trippy Red, but someone like Black Boy JB just had to look alive, and it almost seems for him a little too early. Well, yeah, he had the you know he had the, these couple singles that have been gotten really good. He had Simi, which was a really which was a solid mixtape, but is he really ready for it yet? And in 2018, this freshman class just feels confused. It feels like they're not they weren't really sure what they were going for. They're just looking as we got clout, and I guess that that fits for 2018 because that's all anybody on the internet really cares about anymore. But it but it just feels kind of mixed and muddled, where you have people such as Lil Pump and Smoke Perp, who are this, you know, this, this prototypical SoundCloud, drugged out SoundCloud rappers. But then you have the more lyric, lyrical kind of SoundCloud style and Ski Mask, the Slump God, and YBN Namir. Then you have the whole crooners on the platform, um, I guess you could say, or more singers with the auto tune like Trippy Red. You have the street kind of style with Black Boy JB. You have the kind of the old school guy in JID, the guy that ever. You know that's really that was signed. That's been signed to J Cole's Dreamville imprint, and is really making a name for himself without really needing to use the pl- SoundCloud platform, which just seems crazy nowadays. And then you have kind of the independent. He's not. Really, I don't think he's independent anymore. But it seems like he's really kind of in his own path, in a way. Wi-Fi's funeral, where he doesn't do as many big collaborations as you see some of these other guys do, or or girls in in Steph Landon, who has. Um, I think she was an awesome pick for that. I think she. I mean, I already saw her freestyle. I think that was awesome. Hurt, hurting me in 16 shots. Definitely, I think, deserved to put her on the list. And I think that's a prime example of someone who should be in the freshman class. Is someone who I don't think everyone in the United States is really paying attention to, but has already gotten so co-signs from someone like French Montana, already has awesome hit singles that have really gotten, to, gotten big in the UK. But if you're willing to put Steph Don on there, where was Stormzy? Because trust me, Stormzy's making an impact. Storms is one of the best rappers there are right now, but yet no one in America is really paying attention to him. And I think a freshman list spot would have been huge for his career and would have been a great move for the list. So I'm I'm having a hard time. Maybe it's just how fragmented hip-hop has become. And a part of me likes it. A part of me likes that the that double XL is trying to get every, you know, a, a per, kind of a, representing all areas of hip-hop nowadays. But if this list, in a way, also feels kind of muddled. Maybe they went for it. I mean, I'm looking at the freestyle. I'm looking at the, where the freestyles are going to be, and Ski Mask and JID look to be together. I think that's going to be an awesome freestyle. Um, Smoke Perp, Lil Pump, and Block Boy. I think they all fit nice together. Whether you like their music or not, I think they're all going to. That's either going to be a big boom or bust one for that in terms of in terms of being big on the internet. I think they all fit together perfectly. So I don't know. Maybe they did the right move in this. But hip hop feels very kind of jumbled and all over the place. And it's getting harder and harder, I feel, to pick 10 guys or and, and a girl. Or, you know, how about maybe pick more than one girl for another list? Because I feel like there's definitely there's definitely more than one girl deserving on this. One person I'm looking at is Sweetie. I think she could have definitely used the, you know, Icy Girl's an awesome song online. Maybe not this year. She was right on the edge, I th- on the cusp, I think. But it almost feels like the double XL is limiting themselves to one girl a year, which I don't really understand. Maybe Cardi B should have been on the list last year. Who knows? Um, so it's a list where I'm looking at it. I'm wondering, I think this is kind of a down year for it, even though there's are, there already are some big names. It just doesn't feel like it's accomplishing the purpose for me. It it feels like it's it's just showing rappers who have already, already blown up. I think YBN Namir, he's a rapper who...